Corrupt, you can't trust it, you all have to judge by the Quran. It's like, it sounds like the opposite of what Allah is saying to us. No, Sharia exists, it's not abrogated because you've taken a covenant with God. The Christians took a covenant with God, so did the Jews. So when they came to the Muhammad, peace be upon him, to judge, Allah said to him, judge by what is in their books. If they're coming to you and judging by your Sharia, which they haven't accepted yet, they have to judge by their rabbis, the priests, their rabbis. So they, what were they doing? Why are they hiding the law? So if, if you've accepted that covenant of God and you're, part, you're following Moses, then you have to judge by what God revealed to you. The Injilists the Injil mean the word of Jesus. In fact, the Quran says, the word of Jesus in, in, in certain mind, it also says, says we have it. The, the, yeah, the, I think that is the red word. He says those word. Christians that don't judge by the Injil, they're the sinners. You let that's God true. law. That's true. Yeah, so you yeah. let God law. It says we're no better than those who rebel. Yeah. If we don't judge by the gospel. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, the point I'm making here is we could go to any one of the like, Sunni Dawah guys and they would tell us our book's been corrupted. It's, it's, we need to get rid of it. Like Ali Dawah said, if you have one drop of poison in there, you have one drop of poison in the drink, then you drink it, then the whole thing is, is going to poison you, right? So, so in, in the, point, the point is, it, what, what the Dawah guys sound, what the Dawah guys say, it just doesn't sound like what the Quran is yes, saying. I agree, yeah. And so we say, and we point it out, and it's like, I don't even know what to do at some okay, point okay. when when they will say the exact opposite. In other words, if you read opposite of the Quran, yes. If you, in other words, if you read Surah five verse forty three, and Allah says, "Why do they come to you for judgment when they have the Torah?" Yeah. And, then did five, you? and then five forty seven, let the people of the gospel. Judge. If you were just to read that and say, "Okay, I'm a Christian. What am I supposed to judge by?" You say the gospel. But I have a, if I ask a Dawah guy, "What am I supposed to judge by?" I say the Quran, not the gospel. And I say yeah, that's the, that's not what Allah says in the Quran. So why are you saying it anyway? That's. The what did they come to him for judgment for? They never came to him. The Jews never came to him to speak about theology. Yeah, it wasn't a theological discussion. Well, not in that context. It was context. very specific. It was adultery. Yeah. Yeah. It was a very specific law, right? And they had their law. But, 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 but look at what he said. He said, he says, bring me the Torah. They bring the Torah on the judgment cushion. He says, I believe in you and in the one who revealed you. That's a strange thing to say if you're just saying, I believe in parts, but the rest has been corrupted. Like, I believe in parts of the Quran. I would never say, I believe in you and in the one who revealed you. I would say, yeah, I believe in parts of it, but it would be very, I would never in a million years say, I believe in you and in the one who revealed you. But that's what Muhammad says about the Quran. They came to Muhammad for judgment. Over but he says it about the Torah. He, he says, "Bring me the Torah." They put the Torah on the judgment cushion. He says, "Yes, it. because it's still the word." The, the law. I, I agree. Exactly. That's what the Quran says. We're not disagreeing here. We're not disagreeing. Nasik We're Mansur. on the same page. Just to make it. We agree that the Dawah guys are wrong. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Okay, just to make it clear, in Islam, we have only one person inspired by God, which is the Prophet Muhammad SAW. In the in the Christianity order, we have people. It's mentioned clearly in the Quran. So we have um, many people. They were inspired by God. And they're able to write the, the Injil. In Islam, only the Prophet Muhammad, no one else. So anyone who not inspired by God, he will make mistakes. Okay. That makes well, sense. David, so I don't, I don't. We've got a on theology. We disagree. The Quran disagrees. Yeah. So what? what in is, terms of law or legislation, there's, there's, you have your law, we have our law. So do you believe that we have the Torah and the Gospel today, or no? Yes, we have it in the Bible. There, the, the red letters. I think it's just saying, he's saying just that the Quran is only affirming the words of Jesus. Okay. No, no, Which I'll say, I'll, this part I'm happy that yeah, he affirms that. that. I don't think that's what no, he's no, saying. No, right, because yeah, in right. the Quran says God, okay. God step closer. and Jesus is the word of truth. So when Jesus said, I tell you the truth, he always used this way. I tell you the truth. This part is your gospel that we disagree. This part is what we disagree. This is what yeah. Quran confirmed. Even in the red letters. I don't know about red letters, but the Quran. Like when Jesus says, I tell you the truth. To be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. What yes. I'm saying is, look, I'm you believe, believe in it. You've read the Quran. There's, there's clear passages in the Quran that speaks about your theology. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but the theological positions the Quran disagrees yeah. with. Yeah. No, I know. That's, that's theology. No, so, I'm, I'm, I'm glad there are people who are, are challenging separate, the status yeah. quo in Islam because here's the thing, and, and, and please don't forget this. When I say what, what the Quran is saying in Surah, uh, Surah 9, I'm only saying what, what Sunni scholars have said. Everything I'm saying, I got, matter of fact, even when I say three stages of jihad, that's, that, was, that was from uh, Sheikh Ibn Humayd, the, the uh, Imam at the Grand Mosque at Mecca. He wrote that long essay. So, if you want to say, if you want to say it's wrong, please don't think David Woods just twisting scriptures and stuff like that. I'm going with, I'm going with those no, guys. So if you're saying they're wrong, if you want to say they're wrong, you say they're wrong. In but I'd have to see. Look, right now in Gaza, Netanyahu, well, okay. he quoted Amalek. Uh, just what, a distraction. Do you, do you believe? You know, oh, hey, did someone call her? Change the people. 
all origins Do you believe the great nation of Ishmael will go to heaven? Wait, what's that? The great nation of Ishmael. Do you believe they will enter heaven? And they will be treated the same The great the nation like of Ishmael? Yes. Or they not? What, what great nation of Ishmael? The one mentioned in the Old Testament. You believe they will go to the heaven? The one mentioned in what? Mentioned in the Old Testament. Now how do you see, how do you think God what, will treat him? What great nation of Ishmael? It's mentioned in the Old Testament. God said, also so because Ishmael is, is yeah, your son, I will yeah, make from him a separate land and I will yeah, make, what, I will what, make what, him a big What great nation, nation is that? Where, where is it? Where's the great nation? You tell me. If, if, it's not, no. if they're not the Muslim, who are they then? <laughs> I mean, it says it in Genesis. It says it by the time you get to Genesis 25. Yeah. yeah. He fulfilled it. He said, and he raised, he raised up 12 princes, and these are the, these are their names. So that, that was already fulfilled. It was his 12 it's sons. It's Muslim, it's Muslim Dawah that says that's referring to, to them. To, to okay, Muhammad. so do you believe these people now, they finished? They no longer exist? If, if they, no, they exist, if, they're just, they've lost their, so national, they? they've lost their national identity. Like, like, Can't like, be, like, because it's a no, God you, promise. You look, where, like, where are the, Mo, must, where are the Moabites? They must fulfill the, the, the promise of God. So well, I will make well, them a well, big, he, he great, blessed nation. That mean they will stay forever. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. The misinterpretation of that is saying that God is going to preserve them and establish them forever. He doesn't say that. He says, because, you know, I've heard you, I'm going to bless Ishmael and make him a great nation, right? And so, okay, what is the great nation then? The, well, it, it, it was so when you, it's like, finished. Avery, you can't Avery. Avery. So yeah. what we have, so in, you, what wait, we have in Christian history? Wait, wait. Let me let me just say this real quick, okay? When you get back, what he said. When you get back by, you know, Genesis twenty-five, he lists the twelve sons of Ishmael, yes. who were the twelve princes according to their to their tribes, who yes. were rulers. Yep. They were the great nation. Being great is numerous. Yes. A great nation is a numerous nation. Yep. So Ishmael was numerous. Yep. It doesn't mean that he was like going to have okay, prophets okay, or anything. Okay, okay. Yeah, like when, now, when, after when the this, Jewish tribes are going in, you're, enough, saying, uh, you're going out nations greater than you. So okay. he's, talk, he's talking about numbers, but yeah. they're pagans. But, but, yeah. after, but after that, you don't have Ishmael anymore in the Bible. He doesn't have a relevance. Should, should we look at what happened? Yeah, he don't have any people, people lose Ishmael their national identity. Come. It's like you read about the Ammonites and the Moabites. Where are they? They, David, they just, they, they've been conquered and they, David, were, look, they were incorporated in other, David, in other so groups. They're that still around genetically. No, other Ishmael was blessed by God. Yeah. So God told yeah. Sarah, yeah, listen to, be, to yeah, what to to you yeah, and take him So what, you're, you're denying the nation of Ishmael? No, it he's well. You're no, trying to you're trying to make saying. a connection with Muslims to Ishmael. Yeah, and that's okay. where we're at. All right, not, so let's, you're yeah. not so let's see what Christians done historically. The first early migrants that were persecuted in Mecca, they were giving salvation or, or immigration in Najas. He was a Christian king. He believed, he publicly declared the Trinity. And when the verse of the Quran were quoted to him, he said, "This came from the same source creator as the Gospel." And he accepted Muhammad peace be upon him as a prophet, but not his prophet. Okay. So, so in so they so Christians did accept that historically. Yeah? What what Christians or one guy? He was a king. So what about the Christians that denied him? King, king, king but, accepted but even after that, many <laughs> other Christians still accept. So there, so, but this other king rejected him. Right, so, yeah. so that's not the fact historically. Okay. So what do you do about a Christian who used to be a scribe for Muhammad? He converted to that's Islam. No, no, because I'm, I'm like you're saying, you know, Christians accepted him. But also Christians rejected him. Like there was a Christian. That's not the point. I know Christians accepted him and rejected him. Okay, yeah, so what's the right. point? I'm sorry. So my point is Christians in history have historically accepted Muhammad as a messenger of God and the Quran for, coming from the source, oh, same source creator. Oh. That's the historical reality. Who? Oh. Najasi was the famous king. He was yeah, but that's during the time of my. Listen, it's, it's like, it's like Wadaka, right? If no, Muhammad. You can't do that. No, I'm saying if, if, if Muhammad comes up to someone and he's an Arab. If he's an Arab guy claiming to be a prophet in the in the middle of a bunch of pagans, and he starts talking about there's one God and Christians David, and Jews all have point. revelation. No, is, I would say I could understand someone going, "Oh, this is, is good. The, this is good." The guy. historical point is historically part of the Christian world have accepted Muhammad as a messenger of God. Whether they, you can't, I'm yeah, not talking you, about you can't say it, someone yeah, accepted no, him, no, and, and no, because then what, people reject him. Finish, it's irrelevant. Let me finish. Yeah. What I'm saying is, they accepted him, but stayed Christians. Still they remain Christians, followers of Christ. Oh, we we actually accept him. Oh. We accept Muhammad. Yeah. His, his, everything was corrupted by Uthman. Yeah. And, uh, and he, so he really was a Christian yeah, in Arab Arabia. You accept Christian, Muhammad as what? As a Christian. As a devout Christian uh, no. disciple who preached the Trinity. Believed that Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead, and then later on, people his, corrupted his story his was corrupted was by Uthman. You want to say that? Don't don't say that we'll accept it. Maybe in Syria, you have Christians who accept or Coptic Christians. Coptic Christians. Coptic Coptic Christians. Yeah. So, so I'm trying to they understand. Coptic, Coptic Christians blast Muhammad. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to understand what is like the core point that you're trying the to get to. The point is that you, you're, he's, he's making a claim that. that uh, God will raise a great nation from Ishmael, which you reject. No, no. What I'm trying to say, 
the great nation of Ismail and Ismail does not really exist in the Bible. We have it in our territory, in the Arab world, Ismail and the Quran. Ismail represents the Quran when with Muhammad. You don't have it in the Bible. Okay, so... The Bible says he's a wild The same like the Bible doesn't have Muhammad. Yeah, so, uh, wait, so, okay. So one... Being kicked why, out why, 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 why not Ismail being kicked out of the Bible? How, how does how do you trace how, how do you trace how do you trace okay. how do you trace Muhammad back to to, to Ishmael? Yeah. You can't trace it from the, the Bible. How do you do? You can you do it from the Quran? You can't trace it from the Bible because you don't have Ismail doesn't exist in the Bible. You can't. He does. What? Ismail's in the Bible. Only if you only in the Old Testament. Do you have a New Testament? Nothing. Yeah. Look. Even the Old Testament is just little bit, and then that's it because you don't want it. But what does that have to do with the promises? So now we come here. The, but listen, but listen, the, the, the Canaanites, Isaac, but listen, brother, the Canaanites aren't in, old, in the New Testament either. But that doesn't mean like, you know, oh, the Bible is not, you know, it doesn't have this great nation. Minority have come and said, okay, we accept this prophet, we accept the Quran. But I'm, they, I'm, they try, I'm trying to see what is the... What? You should have kept Ismail because he we, was blessed. We, we, he was. Abraham, he yeah, was. he's blessed he in the Bible. He he's was. blessed in the Bible. He, he was blessed to become a great nation. But you don't nation. have more anymore in history. But that's it. That's it. No, but that is, so why, why do you think that him being blessed means that he'll have a line of prophets or something? God changed his name to what? Ismail, and he and he and he changed his name for Isaac. Yeah. He never changed his name. So he told Sarah to call him Isaac, right? And he told uh, Ibrahim also to call him Ibrahim, uh, Ismail, I think. Oh no, no, he was was Ismail, and they also him call him Ismail from now on. Well, no, no, Ishmael's name was always Ishmael. It never changed. No, I think uh, I've seen it in Old Testament. No, 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 Is no, no, no. It was, it was, it was Abraham. Abram used to be Abram. Abram, Abraham. Abraham. Yeah, yeah. And then Sarai and Sarah. Those are that's it. Like yeah, Ishmael, Ish, Ish, Ishmael and Isaac, they always been Ishmael and Isaac. And it, but it was Jacob. It was Jacob who had his name changed. It was Jacob to Israel. But Ishmael, he's always been the same. I need to check it out. I don't know by now. Anyway, I, I do read the Bible. Yeah. That's and good. Actually, That's actually good. David, with Najash, it's a big thing because they came up to him and they said to him, you've, um, you've lost your faith in Christianity and he proclaimed the Trinity publicly and he never said that Muhammad was not a prophet or the Quran was not from God. We don't base our beliefs around what some guys Yeah, but that was part of the Christian world. You got, Look, you got, you, that was a historical yeah. fact. You got, you got accepted. But it's also a historical fact that Christian world rejected him. What do we do with that? I know, but you, you choose to pick one. But the other no. One. That's what you're saying. You're saying, hey, this guy said this. Therefore, all, therefore you Christians. All I'm no, saying. we do not. All I'm we saying, would have to say, what is, your, what is his I'm reason? Not, do I'm we not agree asking with you. his I'm reason? Asking if you. We I'm, don't, don't I'm, just, I'm not it's arguing with you. I'm just saying to you, part, part of your history, they did accept our prophet and they accepted the Quran, but they remained Christians. Yeah? They did remain Christians. So, so who do so who do we go with? I'm not saying that. All I'm saying humbly is instead of like having a full-on attack, you just look into your history and maybe okay. So we do, might come do, to some common ground. do you understand why we as Christians reject Muhammad as a prophet? Because you don't have you don't have Ishmael in the Bible. No, that, no, that, about no, that's Muhammad. not why. So that's you not have why. Right to, maybe, <laughs> if you want to reject it, it's fine. Do you, you don't have it in the Bible. But do you, do you want? Do you know why? Do you know, if, we, if we don't have Hindu religion in our book, we reject it. Same thing. Yeah, but no, it's not about I'm that. I'm asking you a counter question. Do you know why? The earlier Christians did accept it. I don't. I don't even know if that was is actually true. But, but look, here's my thing. We we have we have Christians that can accept heretical views or whatever. Even David gave a view of why he was why somebody like that might have uh, accepted him. Like say that one more time, David. Why that king might have uh, heard Muhammad preaching a yeah, particular? Uh, let me let me go and say it. Yeah. If I were a Christian in 7th century Arabia and there's paganism everywhere and I hear about this guy coming out of Mecca saying that he got a message from God saying there's one God and that Jews and Christians have revelations from God and he's affirming Jesus and affirming the prophets I'd be like sounds like David. this guy got yeah. a revelation David. Yeah. he's not just a guy he was a king Who? well it doesn't matter it's not a, <laughs> It doesn't matter. We have to accept what some 7th century king says. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Not only that, what about Christian monks? It's not a 7th century authority. <laughs> what, what okay, Christian 7th monks? century a king what is Christian not. What about Armenian authority. Christians? They accepted it. No, they don't. <laughs> okay, look, so this is where we're at, okay? Because it's not about what Christians accept and what does, what, who don't. It's about objectively, does he line up with what Jesus and the apostles look, taught? I don't and the know. prophets? All I'm saying the answer is, is no. All I'm saying to you is, okay, fair enough, that is a view. But I'm saying to you, humbly, just there, are, there is part of Christian, part of Christian world that do accept. Oh, I see it. They must have come to some understanding. Jesus. So when we, weren't, it, it weren't just Tom, Dick, and Harry. These were like Christian moments. I, I don't, I don't know any of these you know people that, that have yeah. done that. But so, but, but here's my thing. If, if I were to find, let's say, someone of stature, 
right? Except Muhammad. Like, you know, even in this time. I would look at that and I'm like, okay, what did he accept, right? What was it that, that did it? Right, I would look into that, but I, because I know Muhammad as a whole. I know I read the Quran. I know what the message of the Quran is. I've seen the Hadiths. I've seen what he teaches. You know, so I know that he re, he goes against the gospel explicitly. So there's no way anybody, even if somebody of, of name accepted Muhammad as a prophet, they would have been wrong. That's your opinion. Yeah. It is. Anyway, we are. I, I, again, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I like your position. We're not anti I like your position. Y'all you, you you are close. Y'all are close. Yes. I like your position. Way better. better. Position way better. better. It's way better. Yeah. 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 That's good. Right? I appreciate you guys, man. Yeah. It's a pleasure. No it's a pleasure. <laughs> That's how you end the discussion. Yep. Yeah. Shake your uh, hands, no smile. Chest, notice no chest thumping yeah. and yelling. And yeah, exactly. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, man. That's the short Swiss guy in the, in, <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> I'm trying to get 